Relative to, to where we are, um, it, it's a really special time to be thinking about the fall and having three of our premier sports going to reach the highest attendance that they have in the history of the institution. When you think about football with the expansion of the East Stadium, Pinnacle Bank Arena and the great news last week that we've been oversubscribed, we're going to be sold out. Uh, for men's basketball and then volleyball moving over to the Devaney with that 20 million renovation and doubling really the size of the attendance from the Coliseum to Devaney sold it out and last I heard the waiting list is almost 2,000 so that, that's a pretty that's a pretty special deal someone asked me the question about other institutions there may be a few that are sold out in two sports I don't know if there's any that are in three and even those in two I are, there aren't very many of them so that's a tribute to certainly you all and the, the Husker fans out there and and uh, you know our staff and our coaches and, and our young people they've done they've done a tremendous job um, you know some of the things that I think about on a day-to-day -day basis that I can share with you uh, relative to Athletics are one the the academic and the athletic balance that I talked about. You know, Nebraska has an iconic history and tradition of success success athletically. There's no doubt about it. We've compounded that success coming off the winter and the spring. You know, bowling winning a national championship on live television with ESPNU, and you know, the, the interesting thing that was going on that day, as you remember, was the Tiger Woods situation at the Masters. So everyone was following the ticker to try to figure out what was gonna happen the next day at the Masters with Tiger Woods, and I think that drove a lot of, uh, a lot of folks to the U uh, to watch the bowling. It was a very compelling match against Vanderbilt, and uh, I've been around the community a lot since that, and folks have really commented about uh, how proud they were uh, you know of our young ladies. I, th I think that's our fourth national championship for bowling. Um, our first Big Ten championship in women's tennis regular season. Um, just a tremendous uh, effort um, and the first time we'll be hosting the first and second round of the NCAAs for women's tennis this weekend. Uh, on Friday at 2 o'clock we play Wichita, Wichita State. Hopefully we'll prevail and uh, the next day we'll play Tulsa or, or UNLV as a winner. Uh, you know, we're making history in tennis each day that goes by. So no team has made it to the Sweet 16. That's in Champaign this year, so we're really excited about that. Women's softball, uh, we're hosting the Big Ten tournament uh, this weekend here in Lincoln. Um, no one puts on events or tournaments like the University of Nebraska, so we're excited. That tournament's been dormant for five or six years, so this is the first time that the Big Ten's cranking up the tournament. Um, we play Friday night, 7 o'clock, so we're really excited about that. Um, you know, the other, the other thing that um, I'm mindful of in the environment we are in the highly visible uh, athletic program at an iconic place like Nebraska is the fiscal stability of what we're doing. Um, and at Nebraska, I can say that we're very healthy financially. Um, it's because of you good folks and all the great Husker fans out there that embrace what we do and support what we do. So, you know, we're able to do a lot of these things to help put our student athletes in a position to be successful, uh, whether it's with our, the way we travel or the, our coaching or our facilities. And, and we do that in a very fiscally stable and sustainable way, and, and that's exciting. We're a leader in that regard. There's not many folks like us left in college athletics that's actually balancing their books and providing resources back to campus. And, and here at Nebraska, we're, we're able to do that. Um, you know, rules compliance, you know, having an attitude and a culture for compliance is very, very important. Um, you know, we've, we've had some folks in college athletics stub their toe again over the last couple of months. Um, you know, it takes a lifetime to build these traditions and these histories, but it only takes a couple seconds, you know, to destroy them. So uh, we're very mindful of that, and, um, you know, it's a, constant, uh, it's a constant approach to continue to pound the rock. And um, every day I talk to our people, our staff members, about doing the right thing, um, steering clear of the gray areas, because we don't need to do that at Nebraska to be successful. And, uh, and I certainly wouldn't want anything to tarnish our reputation in that regard. So, um, and the stakes are getting higher. Uh, you know, the standards, what we expect our coaches and our young people and their behaviors, right, because they're captured on television and they're captured in practice film and all that other sort of stuff. 
So we, you know, that's one thing that we're very mindful in our department of making sure that our people understand what the standards are, what we expect here at the University of Nebraska, the behavior of our coaches and our student athletes and our staff members. So those are, that's an area that I'm mindful of and, and, and work on, you know, certainly every day. You know, and, and then probably the toughest one is balancing expectations. I've yet to be at a place where they don't want to win. Uh, and I get that. And I've yet to be at a place where they don't spend a lot of money trying to do that. So I get that. Um, but I also know this. There's a lot of people spending a lot of money and doing no winning. So uh, we win every day because we graduate our kids at the highest level. They're servant leaders. They're, they're principle-based. Uh, they get it. And, and, and they're here for all the right reasons. And so that helps us balance our expectations. At the end of the day, do we want to win? Do we want to win championships? Absolutely. We'll be unrelenting in that approach, but we're going to do it with the utmost integrity and honor and respect, um, and we're going to do it the right way. So those are, those are some things that um, you know, I think about on a day-to-day -day basis relative to, to the optics of athletics. The one thing I didn't talk about, and it's been talked about quite a bit publicly, is our East Stadium Research Facility. Um, so you can imagine in, in a football stadium in Division I college athletics, a 40,000 square foot research facility that's shared and collaborated not only with the university constituents, but, but the uh, private and public folks um, who have an interest in, in research. And so we have one part of the center, which is driven academically by uh, Chancellor Perlman and Prem Paul, um, and that's CB3, that's Brain Biology and Behavior. Um, and that end of the house will be studying what, is, what it dictates, brain biology and behavior. And for us, we'll be paying a lot of attention to head injuries and concussions. They're very prevalent today in college athletics and, and trying to understand uh, that, that injury and, and how we can prevent it and, and possibly work on some helmet designs to put our student athletes globally in a better situation, both from a health-wise and, um, and a performance perspective. And then the other side of the house is really unique. Um, uh, it's called the Nebraska Athletic Performance Laboratory. It's driven, it's an endeavor which is athletic. Um, and we will be trying to find ways to help our student athletes get bigger, stronger, and faster. Um, and it's, it's, it's really unique. Uh, Coach Osborne's had a great vision of it. Chancellor Perman's had a vision of it. And it's come into fruition. We've, we've hired a wonderful director who's already in the community by the name of Judy, Judy Burnfield. Judy's going to spend half of her time at Madonna Rehabilitation. She's a research expert in biomechanics uh, over there. And she's going to spend half of the time over in our laboratory. We're going to do all sorts of things uh, that are cutting edge as it would relate to athletic performance. So. You know, Nebraska's blazed the trail in a lot of ways. They've done it academically, we've done it in life skills, and we're going to do it in research, and we're going to do it in a collaborative way. So I'm really excited. It's one of the things that attracted me to Nebraska. Um, you know, a lot of institutions talk about integrating their missions. I'm all about, uh, you know, athletics is an academic mission. It, it is an academic endeavor at the end of the day, and I truly believe that, and this is a place that embraces that. So we'll continue to be at the cutting edge on that. That'll help us recruit the best, it'll help us recruit the best student athletes, the best coaches, the best staff members. So really, really quite excited about that.